You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs, when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, huh? You said you didn't think they would find us. Well, yeah, but that's just because... But we can try to find them. Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope you will. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Back in a bit. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. 
You and Clem are welcome to come with us. We need you here. We have a better chance of surviving as a group. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. Thanks for buying me time to get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe you cut off his leg. I don't know if I could have done it. I didn't have a choice. Was that or the walkers? Let's hope things turn for the better. Soon. Now there's a statement I can get behind. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I love apples! Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass, but I'm too hungry. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Shit! It's 
okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. 